Hi, this is Teacher Josie, and I'm here to translate mathematical statements into linear inequalities in two variables and solve problems involving linear inequalities in two variables. I will guide you every step of the way, going at your own pace, and I will make it as lively as possible. So stick with me and keep subscribing free educational videos from Biban's Mathematics Department. Let's have the following real life situations. Number one, the value of one Philippine peso P is less than the value of one US dollar D. The inequality model P is less than D. Number two, according to the PSA, there are more female F Filipinos than male M Filipinos. The inequality model, F is greater than M. Three, the school bus has a maximum seating capacity C of 80 persons. The inequality model, C is less than or equal to 80. Four, to get a passing mark in school, a student must have a grade G of at least 75. The inequality model, G is greater than or equal to 75. And number five, the daily school allowance of Josie, J, is less than the daily allowance of Mirasol, M. The inequality model, J, is less than M. Mathematics is not always about equals. Sometimes, we only know that something is greater or less than. Certain situations in real life can be modeled by linear inequalities. Examples, the total amount of one peso coins and five peso coins of Alvin in his bag is more than 250 pesos. This can be modeled as x plus 5y is greater than 250, where x is the number of 1 peso coins and y is the number of 5 peso coins. Number 2, Joyce bought two blouses and a pair of pants. The total amount she paid for the items is not more than 975 pesos. This can be modeled as 2x plus y is less than or equal to 975, where x is the cost of each blouse and y is the cost of pair of pants. How do we translate statements into linear inequalities in two variables. Remember the following keywords. Is more than, is greater than, is larger than, above, we use this symbol. Minimum, at least, is not less than, not is smaller than, we use this inequality symbol. Is smaller than, is less than below, we use this symbol. And maximum, at most, not more than, is not greater than, we use this symbol. Now, use an inequality appropriate for the conditions of the word problem. At most, six means six or less. At least six means six or more. Less than six means not including six. And more than six means not including six also. Let's have this translate me activity. Write each statement as a linear inequality in two variables. Number one, the sum of 20 peso bills T and 50 peso bills F is greater than 
for 120 pesos? The answer, 20T plus 50F is greater than 420. Two, the difference between the weights of Diana, D, and Princess, P, is at least 26. The answer, D minus P is less than or equal to 26. Three, five times the length of a ruler, R, increased by two inches is less than the height of Daniel D. The answer, 5R plus 2 is less than D. 4. In a month, the total amount the family spends for food, F, and educational expenses, E, is at most 8,000 pesos. The answer, F plus E is less than or equal to 8,000. And number five, the price of a motorcycle M less 36,000 pesos is less than or equal to the price of a bicycle B. The answer, M minus 36,000 is less than or equal to B. To solve problems, involving linear inequalities in two variables. First, understand the problem. Then, write the inequalities. And, solve the linear inequalities. Let's solve the following problems. Number one, it costs Rex 10 pesos to make a picture frame and 15 pesos to make a napkin holder. Production cost cannot exceed 300 pesos. Find an inequality that shows the possible combinations of the number of picture frames F and napkin holders H that can be made. Solution, let F the number of picture frame and H the number of napkin holder. The cost of picture frame is 10 pesos. We will multiply that by the number of picture frame, which is F. We will add that to the cost of napkin holder, which is 15 pesos. Multiply by the number of napkin holder, which is H. Cannot exceed, we will use the symbol less than or equal to and the total production cost is 300 pesos. So, the inequality is 10F plus 15H is less than or equal to 300. Number two, Miss Mendoza, a working student, has two duties, one paying 250 pesos per session and another paying 300 pesos per session. She must earn at least 6,000 pesos a month to pay expenses while attending college. Write an inequality that shows the various ways she can schedule her time to achieve her goal. Solution, we will let X be the number of session QTA will attend and Y be the number of session duty B will attend. The amount paid per session by duty A is 250 pesos. Multiply by the number of session duty A will attend, which is X, plus the amount paid per session by duty B, which is 300 pesos multiply by the number of session duty B will attend, which is Y. At least, we will use the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, and the total amount Miss Mendoza must earn in a month is 6,000 pesos. So, 
the inequality is 250x plus 300y is greater than or equal to 6,000. Any question? I think you are now ready to do the next activity. The I can solve it activity. Ready, set, go! That's all for now. I hope that you enjoyed learning with me. If you did, hope to see thumbs up or a smiley from our chat box. See you on my next.